Hey, what's up everybody? Crypto Coding here. In this video, you guys will learn how you guys can create a Discord bot from scratch. So in this video, I will show you how you guys can set up the all application. In the next video, we'll start coding. So it's really, really simple to do. What you have to do, what you must have is a Discord server. This is what you need, okay? So now let's get started. First, we'll say discord.com. And here, there will be a login icon and click on that and then log in using the browser so this is step number one and now what you're gonna do is say discord.com slash developers d-e-v-e-l-o-p-e-r-s developers okay now you'll click on new application and let's say uh let's see youtube space bot uh yeah that's basically it now this is your bot you will just create like a, you, you you can set up lots of lots of different stuff you can add your own icon you can add description you can do a lot of stuff with it okay so what you will gonna do for now what i'm gonna do is just stay there okay just i'm gonna do nothing you can change everything from here so let's go to old so sorry first go to the bot tab and then click on build a bot so click on add bot add bot yes do it and as you can see bot so the main thing you'll change the bot icon here and then we have the uh, username and this is really really important you do not share this token with anyone so if they have your token they can change they they can uh, manipulate the bot according to their will okay so i'll show you so first let's generate yes do it so yeah and click the reveal too so this is my token okay so you can use it or whatever you want to do it because th th this is just a dummy bot it will do nothing okay so after you do ev everything that uh, every bit of that this let's go to the oath two uh you'll click on bot and after you click on this bot you'll click on general permission you say administrator because for now you need administrator just save this thing so there will be a link copied here so you'll copy this and then paste that thing here with a new tab so this guy will pop up now what we're gonna do is go to the select server here and there, there's a lot of stuff there is a lot of uh, servers I can add I, I will add this guy and say continue and say authorize so, so I am not a bot just roll it up like this and you got say authorized so if I go back uh, I'm sorry for now, I need to pause this video because I'm in a different account. So, yeah, wait a second. So, I'm back. And as you can see, we have added this bot to our server. So, now there's a lot of things going on here. But for now, this is what you need to do. This is basically it for now. So, we need to start this bot, okay? There is a lot of ways to go about doing it. But we'll be, we'll be using Python 3.8, if you remember. In this part, we'll show you how you guys can install Python and Visual Studio Code. Okay, so how we're going to do that? First, let's write Python and go to python.org and go to downloads and as you can see 3.9 is here you can install 3.9 no problem okay so go to downloads windows but if you want to use my version go to here and python 3.8.5 now over here just click on this and down and windows 8 xt executable installer this guy is what we need just click on keep and for now, I have already downloaded it. Let's go to the downloads folder, Python 3.9, double click it, go to click on run, and go to add Python 3.9 to Python. Remember, this guy is really important, okay? Click on install, okay? So I'll, I'm coming back when it's done. As you can see, the setup was successful. Now you need to install the Visual Studio Code and the discord library so I will, what i mean i will explain so after you download all of that you can close this thing and now let's like vs code code and go to visual studio code download for windows and download and windows 10 of course 
So let's go right and then click on keep. So as you can see, the Visual Studio setup is coming up. So after you've done that, let's open up our stuff. I accept the agreement next create this desktop icon next and click on install but I already have it installed okay so this is what how you how you will download Visual Studio code now there is a lot of stuff to do as well so let's go to the our command prompt just write CMD here so this is your command prompt there's a lot of stuff you'll do over here so what you have to do is write two commands first so let's write python and if you if that pops up as if python 3.9.0 the latest one then you are fine no problem so let's click on exit and now what you have to do is write pip oh sorry pip so if pip pops up with these type of things you are also fine no problem okay now we need to install a library called Discord. So first we'll write pip install Discord. So now as you can see this successfully installed. We have successfully built this and installed pre-collected packages. These are the packages that it collected. So now how am I going to check it? Write python and write import Discord. And if it runs, if it runs like this, you are completely good to go. You can easily go to the next section okay so this is how you install some of the prequesties for so another thing you need is download the python extension so we'll go over here in the extension file or you can write control uh, shift plus x and then write python and install the python module done basically done now if you want my text i think i am using andromeda if you want to do you can just go ahead and use my Andromeda if you want but this looks amazingly cool so yeah this is basically it now right click open with open with code there's a lot of it so what we're gonna do is say import discord and after you import discord we'll write uh damn it so after you import discord now we'll just do is from that we need to import the commands as well so if you don't know python programming yet you need to know some of the basics so so what are they going to do we just say import discord now say from discord dot ext means executable i mean extension I think import commands save and now we need to create the object of the client itself so the client is our bot so we'll write client equals to this sorry commands dot bot and here we'll give a command prefix if you know as you can see command prefix the command prefix is the uh, the symbol you you, you write to start the bot. So, for example, dot play or dash play. I will explain a little bit later. So, let's say command prefix equals to, let's go for, um, let's go for dash. Save. Now, we have our client. Now, we'll just run the client, okay? But before we do, you need to know a specific, we need to know a, uh, we need to know when our bot is ready. So when the bot is ready, I want to know that our bot is ready. Now you can do, you can use the commands. So in this video, uh, in this, uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> in this day, in this part, I'll show you. So we'll write is at. So first, let, let, let's create the event. Okay. So say at client dot event. Now what this thing is, this is a function. Uh, it's a decorator. So decorator is saying. I will explain. Just let me write. I will explain. So just write it with me. Async def on ready. We will say. God damn it. Exit. Just clear this thing out. Okay. So on ready, I will write print bot is ready. So. 
So when the bot is ready, we'll write bot is ready. So that's another thing I need to write. Then I will explain every single line what that means. So client dot run and we'll paste up the token. This is the token of mine. So how you get the token, you'll go, go to the uh, Discord developer portal and in the bot section, you'll find this token. So yeah. So th this token is really, really important. Do not mess this up and you can re regenerate it. So bot is ready. Now let's test the bot. So how am I gonna test the bot? So first we'll, we need to go to the folder. If you are in the folder, so if you do did like this, so you right clicked and said open with code and it will do, do, do the thing for you. But what I'm going to do is just say right click here and then open with code on the folder. So it will be fine. Just just cut this thing out. <laughs> now what you have to do is, as you can see, we have this thing. So we will go to terminal, new terminal. And if you already have the terminal, fine. So now we need to run the bot. So how am I going to run the bot? You'll run the bot by saying Python, then say bot's name, bot.py. Or if you have a big name, what you're going to do is say the first word. So B is for bot, and then hit tab, and it will automatically run. So it's, it's a shorthand. You don't need to write it every single time. So say bot is ready. So if I go back to the my folder, I mean, the server, as you can see, the Discord bot is indeed ready and good to go. So now we'll learn about commands. How am I going to add commands? So let's go add some commands. So the difference between event and command is event occurs at a particular time. Commands, you can make it occur. So just simply, uh, if you used ME6 or any type of Discord bot before, you rewrite dash and say play and it plays, that dash play is the command. And an event is when someone joins, leaves, the, a particular scenario you do not have control of. You, you, you cannot control when someone leaves, when someone joins, that's what a, a event is, okay? <clears throat> Hopefully I can, I can teach you some of the basic stuff. So now what you will do is create a command. So we'll write at the red client, dot command because it's a force of command and of, remember event is a decorator and command is a function decorator so you need to have this thing so i don't know the appropriate name for it but you need to have a, a parenthesis and i will explain why in some other videos so we'll set this and now we'll write the same thing async def means define define a function now let's create a command. So let's say ping, okay? And every command will take a CTX or a context. So we'll say save and ping. And I can say CTX, sorry, await CTX dot send, uh, let's say send pong. Okay. So CDX to send pong. I will explain, but for now, we'll just close the bot. We'll clear the thing and we'll run this thing again. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bot is ready, yay. So let's go back and our bot is indeed. Now we need to write dash and say, so let's say ping. And this guy, this groovy guy, actually knows what that thing means, but our bot actually replied saying Pong, exactly what we said. This is how you send messages and add a reply. So this is how you create your own Discord bot. This is the, some of the basic stuff you can actually have right now to create your own Discord. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe for more videos, and I will see you very, very soon.